My name is Deb Erickson, and I'm making a short welcome video so you see the face that goes with the voice. You'll hear this voice quite a bit this semester if you partake of the videos I attach in the class. I attach two kinds of videos generally that I've made. I'll put other videos in um, that'll help explain different uh, things from the class, but the ones I make might be either lecture-based, where I talk about the PowerPoint that goes with that chapter, for example, and I give lots of real life experience, lots of real life examples that should help you understand and kind of get a good concept going in your head regarding that. The other kind I make are really important and kind of easy to just skip. I encourage you not to skip them. I make instructional videos that you see the screen, and so that way you can quickly look and say, oh yeah, I go there, I attach that, I do this here, that's how I do it, that's how I, uh, what I need to do. And it really does help not only speed you up, but get a better grade. So I really encourage you to watch those. This class is eight modules long, just like all the Allen classes. We have the same kind of setup in all of our classes, so students don't have to learn a whole new navigation each time they take a class here. So it should look very familiar to you if you've already taken an Allen class at this point. So eight modules, and if you're in the fall or spring semester, one module is due, the work in one module is due every two weeks. If you're in the summer semester, good for you, it's super fast, it's twice as fast, so you're going to have to be on top of it. You will cover one module uh, per week. All right, uh, let me now, so you see the face, let's go back and I'll give you a quick navigation of our class and then you'll see the screen. All right, here we go. Um, we're now in the class, and I'm using the Biology 102 Fall 2015 semester, the ZA section, to show you around. Um, you may very well have a different semester, and definitely, most likely, a different uh, section. Pay attention to that section. That ZA, ZB, ZC, or ZD should be included in every email you send me, and I'll get right back to you quickly. But if you don't sign your email and you don't tell me what section you're in, I usually have to wait till I get to a computer and look you up, and so I can't do it um, on the fly on my iPad as well. So I'll wait. So, speeding things up, always tell me your section number. All right, let's look at this. This is set up in all Allen classes the same way, so you don't have to learn new navigation to however a teacher thinks it might be. Um, our announcements, I have the class open to announcements usually. I haven't put the announcements in yet for this class. I also have announcements sent to your email. Every single one of them I do. So you should be able to check your Allen email and see the announcements as well. I encourage you to go into uh, this, your Blackboard shell. Um, I, I'll show you how to do that in another little session and set it up so it can forward these emails from Alan into your um, home account, whatever you use all the time, because that's where we kind of get into problems. If I've sent you an email uh, of information and you didn't get it, so figure out a way to check your emails often. Um, next, staff information. That would be me right there. You've already seen my face. This talks about it a little bit, but the main thing I want to say here is I'm on the Iola campus Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday from 9 to 12 and 1 to 3. And so unless I'm in a meeting, you could call me and talk to me or stop by. Uh, that that would be wonderful. I'm happy to explain things to you in person if you're having a hard time with something or just to say hi. But email is truly the best way to contact me. Like I said, I forward it to my iPhone, and so I get a beep, and I, and I answer pretty darn quickly. Um, if I don't answer you within a day, within 24 hours, please email again. Um, it might not have gotten through. I may not have gotten your email. It may have been, if you send it from another account, it might have been blocked. You never know, so just try again. And send it from the Allen account. That, that's your best bet. Um, all right, so a little bit more about me there that you can come back and read at your leisure. <laughs> I'm sure it's very interesting. All right, syllabus and course at a glance. So we have, let me open these up. Here's your syllabus. And it's got the learning outcomes and a little bit of everything that you may ever need. But at the bottom is the most important thing. It's all of your assignments and the due dates. So to make things even handier for you, 
we actually put that in a file. And so that's the core set of a glance. Download that one, which is this, and you're home free. I would encourage you to put you to put this in your notebook, up on your refrigerator, or whatever. And then you can check things off as you get them done. This column is how many points they're worth. This is what outcome they address. And here's a list of all of your activities. So as you can see, you usually have a couple of lab activities, each module. You have chapter quizzes, which you can take as many times as you like. That's pretty awesome. Um, it's a good study tool. And it comes from the same pool that go into the, your test, pool of questions. And so you may end up seeing a bunch of the questions that will be on your test if you take your quiz over and over again. And the highest score is retained in your gradebook. Um, like I said, the two activities. And then you have an exam. That is one time only. You have to finish it when you start it, and it's timed. There's two parts. There's a multiple choice part, and then there's a short answer part. All right, so that's true for everything there. So like I said, this is something that you need to print off and keep, keep very close. I mean, put it where you're going to see it all the time. All right, let's look at the assignments. They're set in modules. The modules also have the due date. And I will tell you now that it will not disappear until 24 hours after the due date. That's because maybe late Sunday night you have computer issues. And I'm not checking my emails at 11.30 at night. I'll tell you that for sure. And so um, that way you don't panic. Your, your test froze. No big deal. I'll reset it for you and you can take it on Monday. And at Monday at midnight, everything from that module disappears and closes. You won't see it again. So due dates are pretty solid, are solid, except for that little 24-hour grace period if you have computer issues. If you have computer issues like that, email me so I know not to grade your work yet, um, just in case I get started grading on Monday. All right, so we have a to-do list. This blog is the first thing you're going to do. I'll talk about the assignments in another one. Um, this is where I'm going to put the videos I make. I haven't made them yet. I'm making this one right now. Um, this is a brand new shell, so I'll be making videos just for this class as we go. So right here is where you're going to want to check for them. And here's where you find your chapter quizzes and module exams. Uh, we'll do two lab activities, and when you get all that done, you're ready to move on to the next module, which would be module two. All right, so that's where you find your assignments. Uh, there's a discussion board link where you can get to the discussion boards. Like this one's in module one, this one's in module two. There's only four of them, I think, in this class. Um, but uh, if you, there's always a link in the class. But if you can't get to it, if you want to just, you know, what you want to do, you can click right here on discussion board and get right to the one you want. My grades, everybody checks that first as soon as they get started. I can't show you anything because I'm not enrolled in the class as a, a student. But you'll see all of your grades here. Please click the little comments and read my comments. I put comments on everything I grade. Sometimes if something didn't attach correctly, I'll put a zero in with a comment saying, no problem, I'll correct the points, but you need to attach the correct file. Um, let me know when you've done it. So if you get one of those, don't panic. Read the comment. All right. Um, to send an email to anyone in the class, including myself, um, you select users. Slow. And right now, I'm the only one in the class. So you would select me and send me over. All right. And then type what you want in a subject line. Once again, um, I really need to know your name. Um, this will automatically put your name and your section number in it if you email from within here. If you email me from a different account, be sure and put your name. Sometimes it's not the same. That's on whatever your, you know, my son has Super Dave or something like that on his. So be sure and put, sign your emails to me and put your section. Apps. We'll be doing a couple of blogs and a couple of wikis. This is a second way to get to them. You can get the discussion board here too. But I'll always have links in the module so you can use this route or not, your call. And most importantly, this is this year's big awesome thing we just got, a tutor. All right, so we have online tutor 24-7 available for you. And here's some questions on how to do it. You know, I mean, little videos on how to do it. 
and then when you're ready you click on that and for me click on biology and so I'm not going to do it because it would tell it would line me up with a tutor and what's very cool is we have hired this company of the people that wrote our textbook and so the people that write our textbooks are the ones that are going to be answering your questions on this and I think it's brilliant I mean use it if you need it um, they'll be they're designing classes and then when they get assigned somebody that they need to tutor when you've called in then they go ahead and and switch over to that I think it's pretty pretty brilliant actually all right all right that's a nice little rundown of the class um, I hope you have a wonderful semester if you have any questions feel free to contact me I'm just an email away thank you very much